We'll guide you through how to use shaders with CurseForge mod packs. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders can really go and change how Minecraft goes and looks. They go and add more shadows and different lighting effects. So using them with a mod pack can be a really great addition. So to get started with this, go and open up CurseForge, make sure you've got it installed. What you want to do as well is go and have the mod pack installed you want to do this with. This could be a third party mod pack or one you've gone and created yourself, it doesn't matter. In this case, I'm going to do it with a mod pack I've gone and created, but it doesn't matter as I said. What you want to do is go and click on it. Now, what you need to do is go and look in the top right here, just below the play button. We'll go and see the mod loader and the version. So this is Forge 47.3.0 for 1.20.1, which is the game version. Now that we know that, we need to go and open up a web browser. So here we are in Google Chrome, it doesn't matter though. And you want to then go and head to Optifine like so. Optifine will go and allow us to go and run shaders. So what we can do is come to optifine.net, go to the top and go and press downloads. What we then need to do is go and get it for the right version. We can just go and check what it was again. It was for 1.20.1. So you can click show all versions and scroll down. Here it is here. Go to the right and if I go and look at this Forge version, it's different to the one shown in Curse Forge. If it's the same, that's fine. If it's different in Curse Forge, press the three dots to the left to play and press Pro for options. We then need to go and scroll down to current model loader versions and we just go and change the version of Forge so it's the same. This needs to be 47218. So I can go and scroll back and go and find that. You can then go and select it and you want to then press done like so. It will then go and reinstall. Now come and find Optifine and we can press download. When you do this, it will take you to an ad wall. Just be aware it's your download button is for the ad. In the top right, you can then go and press skip and it's going to go and download. Then you can press download and it will download onto your computer. Next, you need to go and get a shader pack. Open a new tab and you can head to a site called CurseForge and come to curseforge.com. And then what you can do is go and select Minecraft and press browse all at the top. On the left, you want to go and click shaders and then we can go and find a shader pack here. You can browse through them. I like the look of these, these complementary shaders here. So I'll go and click on them. We can press files. Of course, you can get multiple packs as well. And then what we can do is go and press the three dots to the right and download them. Before we start the install process, a big shout out to the sponsors of this video, Apex Hosting. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, then definitely go and check them out. There'll be a link down below and you can check them. What you can do is go and get yourself a discount off as well right now, which is great. If we scroll down, we can go and check out some of their great features as well, like one click and store mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support. So you can go and get the help anytime you need it. Ultra latency, instant setup, and so much more. So if you're interested, check them out down below. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. To continue though, come to Curse Forge and press the three dots for left of play. And what you want to do is press open folder. In here, you want to go and find the option for mods. And in here, we can then go and add in Optifine. So what we need to do is go and right click on your file explorer and press downloads or just open it up and find the downloads folder. Drag in Optifine like so. Then you can go and press back. Shader packs in here, so you can come into here and you want to then go and add in the packs you've got. I'll drag and drop it in, it's that simple. Then what you can do is come to the pack and press play to the right here. Go and wait for this to go and launch. The launch will open and you can then go and press play. Pause the game and press options, then video settings and shaders and your pack should be here. You can then go and double click on it. Minecraft's going to go and reload and we should now go and have the shaders enabled. You can see it's now finished, I'll unpause it and we're now using shaders. It's that simple. 